and they hate how we limit the options using like our own like our movement our timings our like understanding of positioning they hate all of that right so mm -hmm. they're making characters they're making the game design to counter how we limit the game so that it becomes more random and like less competitively solid as it currently stands they have succeeded right when i play tekken 8 my first instinct is i have to beat the other guy up <laughs> <laughs> you know what is going on guys we are here today we're gonna talk with my man speed kicks you guys better know uh you know, <laughs> speed kicks played a lot of tekken and speed kicks is now transitioned to street fighter 6 has been done relatively f good what's up kizzy thanks for having me bro hell yeah man i'm very excited to talk about this man i uh you know a lot of games i feel like a lot of games kind of happen uh kind of uh drift a lot of players away Mm -hmm. uh, but I do feel like, you know, uh, Street Fighter 6 kind of, you know, brought the uh, brought the family together, you know, the family yeah. reunion, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, it's a lot of old faces coming back and getting to see everybody again has been pretty sick. I was kind of down on fighting games for the past uh, past couple of years, honestly. Mm -hmm. I was like, you know, I was playing Tekken 7 because I had uh, some residual skill left over in that game, but I wasn't like too hype on it. And I was thinking, OK, well, maybe fighting games aren't as good. Maybe I've outgrown them or something like that. But then Street Fighter 6 came out. And I, I, <laughs> I didn't even plan on playing this game. I told like I told Sonic Fox, I was he asked me if I was going to be playing. I was like, uh, no, probably not. Someone gifted me the game, and <laughs> and after they gifted me the game, I was like, wait, this game is kind of like really addictive, and I couldn't stop playing it. I just kept playing it and playing it, and now I'm, I'm like doing kind of well at it, and I'm really having a good time. So that's feeling like my game right now. That's crazy that you got this game from a gift. You like, <laughs> you like. Wait a minute. Now I want to go ahead and talk about a little bit about Tekken. You have a lot to say about Tekken. I do. I but, do have a lot to say about Tekken. But my question is to you is, are you excited for Tekken 8? I am not super excited for Tekken 8, but I'm glad we're getting a new Tekken. And I think it's going to be kind of like a casually like fun experience. Uh -huh. you know? And uh, Yeah, I, I think yeah. casually is really going to be amazing. Why? Because uh, if you hear the visuals like that, <laughs> It feels and sounds cool, you bro. Know it's I mean? a be it's a beautiful game. Like yeah. visually, like it is a huge upgrade from like any Tekken we've ever seen. Visually, the the char the char all the character redesigns are amazing. Like I haven't seen a character redesign I didn't like. The sages are the sages are amazing. What makes you not as excited, and um, what makes you think it's such a casual game? So they're really trying to play in like as as it, as it currently stands. They're really trying to play into the heat thing. Um, I don't know if you if you saw the Evo 2023 Tekken 7 Grand Finals or any of the I top have. six. I, I watched top six. It was the most sleeper gameplay you've ever seen in your life. Okay, yeah, it was, it was like Akuni Mitsumi. Gra yeah. yeah, Grand Finals. Uh, <laughs> it was uh, what was it? It was um, I think the most exciting guy was um, the Cal the Catalina. The, the, yeah, yeah, Genghis Genghis Don, yes sir, straight out of Atlanta. <laughs> yeah, he he was the most exciting to watch. Yeah, he was. The way that Tekken 7 ended up playing at the at the highest level when it when the game got figured out and optimized, it got really slow and everything, every decision you made became to like neutralize out what your opponent was doing. So, um, you know, you just kind of put up hope in your opponent. You stopped them from like playing through any of their like 70 options at any time, right? So you're just spending the whole time just sort of like keeping each other from doing things, using your movement, using your pokes to stop things from happening to you, uh, taking the game with like timeouts, you know, uh, just applying pressure like really, really passively. It's like like it's it's weird. You, you hear the term active defense to other games, but in Tekken we have like passive offense. You know, it, it it got a little bit boring with Tekken Seven. So in Tekken Eight, they're trying to force this whole aggression thing with the heat system, and they've got they like rewarding you for attacking a lot more, and they're they're adding chip damage so that if someone decides to defend passively, then they they get pressured. And the way it's turning out is kind of a uh, not a super solid competitive game because that's just not where Tekken shines not, not the offense but um you know it's going to be a fun casual experience i think you could you log in push some buttons do your thing activate your heat pressure the other guy <laughs> win or lose he, you said, log off, you know, he said casually play activate your heat <laughs> <laughs> activate yeah activate your heat bro activate the heat and, and go in <laughs> i feel like companies will make a design for something and then not understand why a game is being played a certain way. So right. then they will they will get mad at the players or like they'll be like, well we don't want that. So we're gonna try to add and force these things to like to like 
force the players to move. But I think companies kind of forget that like it was our fault who put the mechanic there in the first place. <laughs> you know what I mean? And like it becomes it, it gets it gets worse and worse and worse, right? I really I I genuinely feel like developers or whoever are making the play, the uh, decisions in the games, they are trying so hard to make the players not successful at what they do. I get it, right? You don't want people solving your game and showcasing it to 200,000 people. This is how we're gonna be playing. And we're literally just like dancing the whole time and like nobody ain't pressing it, right? right. Like, I, I get it. But I also don't think that companies are like, yeah, we maybe this mechanic is the reason why they're doing this. Yeah, they don't fully they don't fully understand to, uh, the okay, domino. So a lot, a lot of yeah, exactly. A lot of Tekken's gameplay, uh, Tekken, I know Tekken specifically, right? A lot of our gameplay is like emergent gameplay, right? Where we figured out some things in the game that the developers did not intend, and then we played, or we we used it to like play around the other systems in the game, and we came up with how the game was played like on our own, right? They just gave us like the mechanics, and and they didn't really know how those mechanics were going to turn into gameplay, and then they see us like taking this game to like it's kind of insane levels and they don't like how it looks visually yeah. but they did they didn't understand how they got there in the first place we figured that out not them right they didn't like put that gameplay in the game in the first place so all they can kind of do is sort of like try to use their limited like view to prevent what we're doing but they don't really do a good job of like creating it the same level of depth but like in a different direction yeah, it, it, they just like let's just take, let's just yeah, take, they just take, take, they just take it away. Let's just They're take, like, let's just take hey, it away. Stop doing that. Yeah, stop doing <laughs> that. And like, oh, you figure out another way to stop, uh, keep doing that. Well, I'm gonna just take it away completely now. Yeah. Now, now do it. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. And um, it feel it feels like a like a like a petty. It feels like a petty relationship, especially in the last generation of fighting games. You know, like Tekken Seven, Street Fighter Five, Guilty Gear Strive, like, oh. like that that entire that entire generation of like fighting games. It felt like I was just playing stripped versions of other fighting games. Yeah, right? it's, it's like yeah. what's what's really here left. Like, what's yeah, left? and you know I'm always like a, I'm always like you know companies being like yo we made it to easier to understand and blah 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 blah. You know when I hear that term I always laugh because uh, why is it that when we take away things it's easier to understand things? You know <laughs> you know like like who. It, who, who are you to dictate what's easy for me to understand? You know, yeah. imagine somebody like having to fight for their life and match for their life every single time. It it, it doesn't it doesn't get it doesn't get exciting. We laugh yeah. because we like oh, I mean, what can you do? You know what yeah, I mean? We, like, yeah, we, yeah. we see it and we feel like either he was going to hit or he wasn't. Yeah, he was. What can he do? When we watched Street Fighter Six Top Six at uh, at Evo. Like every hit was getting like audience gaps, right? Yeah. But then when we watch like Guilty Gear Strive, right? Someone gets hit, and like the audience is just like, okay, like it's it's about to be an eighty, like it's about to be a huge damage combo, right? But like, no one felt that tension before the hit because they knew that someone had to get hit right there. Yeah. So so there's no surprise, there's no shock, there's no oh my god he did that. It's just okay, it went according to the the book. You know, a lot of people said <laughs> this is crazy. I this a lot of people that watch games they said this and i didn't say anything they were like man i feel like street fighter 6 was the most footsie i've ever seen in street fighter and it's been it's been a while yeah it's been a long time even though with drive rush drive impact like if you look at like shuto versus like tokido that was a a, a great footsie smash right so like mm -hmm. it was like yo man from like top 24 to up i feel like it was just a lot of ground it was a lot of good neutral shows a lot that if you just allow the game to just have so much stuff the game won't be as figured out as fast another yeah. question i want to talk about too where was the point in your career where you was like man tekken is going this direction i caught it earlier than most people did i think it was around season one where i saw the direction and i thought it was an accident you know mm -hmm. so tekken 7 was kind of new on console like at, at first it came out um but you know we didn't have the game we were like like competing in 2016 against I remember like, that. Punko. Like, Punko, yeah i guess Kuma. yeah i <laughs> yeah. guess all these like uh, all these like korean and japanese players who were playing in the arcade and we were like figuring the game out while we were competing in it. And so we were all kind of still playing it like it was all Tekken, right? Like it was almost like we were handshaking complexity. Mm -hmm. We were, you know, we were all like, 
we were all like, okay, uh, this still is Tekken, right? So we're playing it like there's a bunch of death and a bunch of read and all that stuff there, right? right. But as the game progressed, we optimized and we, we figured out, okay, this doesn't work. You can't do this. Oh, we can we can be a little bit more simple here, you know, stuff like that. Around season one, I was like, I don't know if the way I've, I'm used to playing Tekken will work here. So I need to adjust, right? And I'm, and I'm like, I need to make it, I need to get simpler. I need to learn from how these people are playing. You know, they're playing simpler than I am. I don't think that's good for the game, but uh, surely they'll fix it next season. Ne this next season comes out. I'm like, okay, they've got to be trying to fix it. Uh, season, you know, playing season two, they add Geese Howard to the game. And he is like, that's like the happy chaos of our game. He. <laughs> he breaks the game in such a unique way and when you're fighting against him you just have to pretend he just has like a loaded weapon on you at all times so you can't press a button you have to just hold that don't do much of anything against him and the, the game's going in that direction i'm still taking i'm still like kind of taking it seriously and then the esports thing i have to be a good competitor i need to lab this learn this season three hits and they drop leroy smith <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, Leroy, Leroy Smith. He, oh. he, he, there was that Evo Japan finals where there was like six out of, out of top eight players were using Leroy and I was labbing the character and I realized that the direction the game was going in was not a mistake. This when is you, what they want. Yeah, this is what they wanted, right? I'm looking through the moves. I'm like, where are the classic Tekken weaknesses in this move list? There are none. Where are the where the you know and then you look at like what his strengths are and his strengths are built to like they're unique they have like a 12 frame counter hit launching mid that's safe on block that's not something that ever exists in tech and logic if a, if a mid is 12 frames it's like it doesn't really give much reward it's like a little poke he's getting doing a counter hit launcher and then like all his moves like they track really well like his buttons are huge and i'm like oh this is on purpose you could not find a bad string in his move list and you know <laughs> and that's that's not how that's not how tech it works right you know how people usually say like okay you have there's 70 moves in the move list but you're gonna want to identify the good ones and the bad ones yeah you gotta like, fight yeah, you gotta you gotta yeah. work with the 13 or nah, the 12. yeah, yeah. no no leroy all 70 <laughs> use them all you know what i mean like just hit your buttons you'll find a good string so i'm like okay well this is i'm 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 i must be the clown here right <laughs> thinking that i'm supposed to be finding a serious solution to this i'm supposed to just use this and like abuse it and hit the buttons and they hate how we limit the options using like our own like our movement our timings our like understanding of positioning they hate all of that right so mm -hmm. they're making characters they're making the game design to counter how we limit the game so that it becomes more random and like less competitively solid and i'm like i need to bow out you know that was when that was when i decided i was like retiring from tekken when i look at the heat system you know it really makes you have to fight back bro i feel like getting hit is better than blocking yeah, bro, sometimes it is. Yeah. And when it, in Tekken 8 specifically, bro, the chip damage that you're doing in heat is insane. And then you like, if you have like a frame advantage move that does chip damage while you're in heat, it's disgusting. Yeah, bro, it's almost like, it's almost like a, you cannot press buttons, you cannot get out of here. You can't even backdash out. It's like, yeah. you know, it took away, like again, like they took away the backdash because they didn't like how the game looked in Tekken 7. But I feel like, because of how like weight race drive and things like that, how that works, mm -hmm. and like just how uh, like sidestep kind of got toned down a little bit, if I'm not mistaken, yeah. in Tekken Seven, like if sidestep was very strong, I feel like people will attack more. Yeah, it, it, so it go yeah, so it goes back to what you were just saying about how the game developers don't really understand why the games end up the way they do, how like how the mechanics create the gameplay. Seven is a less active game than the Tekkens before it, but the intention was to make it more active. They nerfed the movement in Tekken 7, right? So from going from Tekken Tag 2 to Tekken 7, they nerfed the movement, right? Because a lot of what was happening in Tekken Tag 2 is that we were playing a lot of footsies, right? So we were using movement yeah. to like realign with other people's movement. Like we're, we're constantly like reading each other's movement, trying to place hits on each other. It's, it's a lot going on. So like uh, to, to, to capitalize on that, I, I remember when I was learning Tekken 7, I remember uh, when I was trying to like just learn about the game, I remember people being like, "Yo, this character is weak to like sidestep right, yeah. or like this character is weak to sidestep left, mm -hmm. or like you know things like that." Right? I don't ever really see that a lot in Tekken Seven. Is that just not a thing? It, it so it is, but it's not nearly as huge of a like a weakness as it was before, right? So, oh. 
So like you'll you'll there are some moves where you, it's like, hey, if you're going to sidestep this person, sidestep this direction. But it's not like you should be sidestepping against this character, right? Like by default. So when the when the movement was good, like I said, how you know how I said uh, Tekken is like a, it's a game where you have like 80 moves, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, that way that if you, you now you know how fighting games work. Yes. If you if you had to pull up to someone, in their in their in their zone in their range of attacks. And you could get hit by any 80 moves, right? You would always get hit by something, right? There's no way for you to prepare yeah, for everything. It's impossible. It'd be, it'd be random, right? It's, it's impossible. But the way that Tekken gameplay at the high level cre was created is that you could s limit your opponent to a section of moves by choosing a defensive option, right? So if I choose to sidestep left, then my opponent now has to pick. They, they In this situation, if they don't pick one of their 10 moves that hit sidestep left, they're not going to be able to hit me, right? Right. So it, it it sections out those options. It's like, okay, well, hey, I'm gonna limit you to these. Which, which what do you like to pick when I sidestep left? Right. It creates a, a it creates a mind game there by having good movement. You can enter. You can choose to interact. You can choose to enter that zone, and then like limit your opponent's options and play the game with them. They nerf movement in Tekken Seven, and when they nerf movement, you limit the controllability of those like of the moves of the options. So <laughs> if someone gets close to me, now I can really just get hit by anything, right? So, so it's, it's totally random. So, so what I'm gonna, so, yeah, so what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna get close to them. Yeah. 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 And so the nerfed movement actually creates more turtling, more defense because of the fact that we can't like intelligently interact. So we're choosing to interact less. Companies don't understand that that's, that's it's their responsibility for all yeah. of this. But yeah, then, like, they did this to us. And it just sucks that a lot of companies like we don't understand why it's like this, but our idea is that people are just backdashing too much. Right. So right, exactly. So they nerfed the backdash again. Yeah. In Tekken Eight, that was that's their that's their plan was to nerf the backdash some more and then buff the attacks on block because we're blocking too much. Yeah. Right. So now you get chip damage and and there's heat and all that stuff, right? And they're like, hey, attack each other when we don't want to attack each other because the moves are already so strong and <laughs> uncontrollable. They're, yeah. they're they're forcing us to go in go in even more. Yeah. And as it currently stands, they have succeeded, right? When I play Tekken Eight, my first instinct is I have to beat the other guy up. <laughs> 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 you know, like I have to do it to him before he does it to me. That's purely um, what I'm thinking when I play Tekken Eight. It, it feels like animal instincts. Yeah. <laughs> thing I'm very appreciative about SNK is KOF is still played by some of the best players for 15 years. And they never like disrespected what the, the legacy players were doing. They never like, they didn't try to fully delete the gameplay that the good players were doing in the first place. Yeah. At the end of the day, the players is what make people buy your game. <laughs> oh man, I, that's not Namco's specialty at all. <laughs> uh, were you uh, were you around when they made the, they made a patch that made Kazuya's Hell Sweep homing? No. It, okay, so it so Kazuya's cause you know cause you know Kazuya in, in that game, right? He's got the hell sweep, he's got the overhead, he's got the electric, right? That's like his yeah. basic mix up. But you can side you can sidewalk left all three of those, which creates a little timing mix up where he has to try to read your sidestep timing. Maybe he goes for a tracking move, maybe he mm. decides to wave dash in your face. They 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 said forget all of that. And they made the hell sweep homing, which means that you could not sidewalk it at all. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and so that little mind game of timing is gone. It just became like a pure guess whenever Kazuya started get moving at you. And, <laughs> and when everyone complained, like every, like every, even the mid-level players were upset about this one, right? Michael Murray was like, why would you want to sidestep the hell sweep anyway? If you know it's coming, just duck and launch. And and the whole community was like, bro, do you guys, do you guys even know how we play this game? <laughs> yeah, so it, 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 that's hilarious. Instead of supplying me with an intended play style, I want them to supply me with mechanics, and then I can try to figure out my own play style inside those mechanics, and other people can try to figure out theirs, and then we can like see how it works out. Yes, and that's what makes fighting game great. Street Fighter Six, like playing people from all these different gaming communities, you can really see how people like they're kind of playing their their original game inside of Street Fighter Six. Like yeah, when I, play, when I play Street Fighter, I'm playing Tekken with Jury. That's all I'm doing. I'm playing her like like just straight. I'm like neutralizing the ranges like i'm playing tekken i'm getting where i want to get i mean i'm reacting to specific things i'm like completely tekken minded in that game and then i fight i, I fight like k7 show up and he's playing strive with marissa and yeah. i'm like <laughs> and i'm like oh my god this is insane right if there was a perfect feedback to not only satisfy you as a fan 
but to speak for a lot of people, what would you want change for Tekken 8? It has to be adding some sort of meter management to the heat system, I think. Because okay. as the heat system stands right now, you kind of just get to activate it whenever and you're like <laughs> in a temporary god mode. <laughs> and, then, and then if you beat them if you beat them up with that like it's cool you probably will and you know they can re they can reverse activate but it doesn't really make the game like any more interesting it actually kind of limits the game right because when someone's walking around with like 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 the only way that these mechanics that they add to tekken like rage drive like rage art the, the only way that they can really work is if they make it so that it overpowers all the other options I think it's okay to have in a game. It's going to be really hard to balance that and make the gameplay actually interesting around the heat. But if you give it a meter management, then people sort of have to play Tekken in a in a more active and a more like you know uh, intentional way to get the, to get that powerful option. And then it, it creates more interesting Tekken being played. And then you also get to see the visuals and the cool the cool heat thing, and you get to kind of like do your broken move. And have have fun with that. I I'm looking forward to Tekken 8 because I want Tekken 8 to be uh, a great game. Uh, I really hope that they really take the time and um, you know really think about like from a development standpoint the things that we like. What is it that I did to make this game look like this? You know, rather mm -hmm. than trying to like prevent something to look like it. Anyways, where can they find you? I am at twitch.tv slash speedkicksatl and twitter.com slash speedkicks. Oh, you got the original a, speed kicks, huh? yeah, I got, the, I got the OG speed kicks on Twitter. That's actually kind of gala. Thank you guys for fighting game select. I hope you guys enjoyed the conversation. Make sure you guys leave a subscribe button, leave a like. Let me know how you guys feel, and uh, how you guys feel, and what you guys feel about the things we talked about, and how you guys enjoying fighting games right now. Like, are you guys enjoying it better than you guys enjoying it three years ago, two years ago? You guys, let me know in the comment section below. Uh, do you guys relate to what we're talking about, or do you guys think that we're just talking? all of our uh, egotistic ass. You guys let me know in the conversation below. All right, thank you.